Hello, good evening and welcome. It's time for us to have a lovely time. We like having fun and we like drinking wine. We like playing chess and we like lying down. We like making cakes using just cheese and eggs. We sell them at Greg's, but they don't sell too well. Cause we use baby bow. Oh no, so on cheese. And they smell. The horn section podcast. I love baby it's bell. The horn section podcast. I love baby it's bell. The horn section podcast. Ah oh, yeah. It's the horn section podcast. Oh no. Oh, oh no. yes. Oh, oh yes, more no. like. It's another episode of the Horn Section Podcast, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Everyone all right? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yes, thanks. Do you know what I need? Do you? Do? And, sorry, thank you for asking. I'm, a, I'm fine, but I need something. Do you know what I need? Speed. Tell us. Fun time guitar. Has anyone got any fun time guitar on them? I take oh. it you mean banjo. Oh. banjo. I did mean banjo. Oh, that's what I needed. Hey, Mark. If you were really small, like an ant, what would you get up to? <laughs> I'd help my other friend ants uh, build a nest. Yes, yes, you would. Hey, pianist, if you were really big, like a blue whale, but on land, what would you get up to? Huh. I would, uh, I'd roll all over the place, crush yeah. every, every village. All the ants, all the <laughs> ants are dead. All the, all the stupid ants. Hey, Joe, oh, well. if you were really wide and flat, like a big piece of paper, what would you get up to? <laughs> Uh, Quicker. I would cover the whole sea. Why? So that people could walk across. Oh. Hey, will it? If you were very hot, but not as hot as fire, and you were also very bouncy, what would you get up to? Uh, Pick quicker. If I was hot, hot not yeah, as hot yeah, but not as that fire. hot. Yeah, but not as hot as Quite fire. Quite hot and bouncy. But bouncy. Yeah. Bounce around. <laughs> After all that. <laughs> hey, Ben, yeah. if you were a long pipe, but you could talk and you had a hundred hands, what would you get up to? <laughs> a long pipe yeah. with a hundred hands? Yeah. I'd like sort of a, a foot long? Not very long. Okay. Yeah, I'd hang out with some big centipedes for the day. Uh, yeah? Yeah. And see I what they get up it. to. I, I love it. Stop. Fun time is, guitar. Um, is, Joe, is Joe's mic loud or is it just banjo that was loud? Couldn't really oh. hear anyone other, other the banjo. Don't worry about it. Well, I couldn't really hear your question. That's why. Oh, I was, that why you said such a terrible answer? <laughs> yeah, well, no. Oh, guys, look, <laughs> look, honestly, Willip, we've all had a meeting. We all think you should shut up. Because in a minute, <laughs> I'm going to introduce our special guest. That's true. But first, let me introduce you to our special pianist. Here he is. And here is the beautiful noise he can make. <laughs> no, with the, with the instrument. <laughs> <laughs> with, your, with, your, with your instrument. All oh, right. What sort of uh, piano music would you like, Alex? I don't know. Blue? Like, oh, like okay. pornographic piano? Oh, no, I don't do pornographic piano. You could have a go. If you're a new listener, then I've got a personal message for you. Welcome, friend. Come and have a seat. Look at us. Listen to us. We're going to say some fascinating things to you. Every word is so interesting. Your life will be changed completely forever afterwards. Every single thing about your life will be different. The food you eat, the shoes you wear, the colour of your eyes. These dudes are going to sing some songs that will make you cry and laugh and reconsider all your life choices. This is the Horn Section Podcast. Stick your head in the mud and drink it. That's it. That's it. I thought I'd do that with a new advert. Oh, yeah. It's good. Just make them stay. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. well, look. Uh, we've got a song for you, new listener. It's a beautiful tune from the Brothers Smooth. Anyone want to introduce Ooh. it? Ooh. Oh, this is a long introduction this week. Here we go. <laughs> well, we've got more from the Brothers Smooth this week. It's been quite a week for them. They had a bit of a windfall, what with another one of their singles going straight to number one. A number one slot was the last thing they'd expected from Corn on the Cobweb. With their money, they bought a luxury mansion together in New Orleans, but it isn't all as idyllic as you might assume. Mainly because the house needed a bit of renovating, and although they agreed on most things, there were some bones of contention. For example, Michael thought that the master bedroom should have an ensuite bathroom, but Bill hated ensuite. Michael thought they were a really good idea, but Bill just thought, why would you want to be able to see the toilet from your bed? 
Michael thought they were convenient and luxurious, but Bill was troubled by the sound of the fan in the middle of the night. What about the sound of the fan, he said. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me, I sleep right through it, Michael replied. Bill was worried about the smell from the bathroom coming into the bedroom, while Michael didn't really have a very strong sense of smell, so it didn't bother him so much. At the end of the day, Bill just didn't like the idea of a bathroom being attached to a bedroom. He preferred it down the hall. He didn't mind taking the walk in the middle of the night, whereas Michael tended to find the midnight <laughs> toilet walk quite frustrating. In the end, they did find a compromise, but then Michael went and bought a push-down bin for the kitchen without consulting Bill, and Bill couldn't believe that he'd chosen a push-down <laughs> bin. He hated push-down bins because sometimes the latch breaks, rendering them unusable. Why on earth didn't you get a pedal bin or one with a sensor? And flip-top bins are actually really good value for money. Yes, some people find the flip lid to be a bit of a pain, but they're economical, easy to use and durable. Michael knew he had angered his older, less successful brother. He didn't want the band to split up again. He needed to nip this in the bud, so to cheer him up, he organised for the two of them a midnight feast. He knew that Bill would love that, and he hoped it would be enough to heal their domestic wounds. Hit it! <laughs> I am hungry. Hungry for more, more Brothers Smooth. How did the Brothers Smooth song go down? Oh, oh really well. Yeah. Probably feeling pretty one, chill after that. Was it the uh, Cat's Whiskers? Oh, yeah. Those dogs' bollocks. Yeah, bees' knees. Ladybird's spots. Monkey's eyebrows. The fish's Nats, gills. Nat's wings. Hippo's bum bum. Oh, pardon, what was that one, Joe? Hippo's bum bum. Kangaroo's pouch. Well, let's celebrate by meeting today's <laughs> special guest. It's James Acaster. That guy. James Acaster. Say hello to James, everyone. Hello, hello James. Hello, James. What um what with this podcast? Uh, what's the idea behind it? Yeah, I'm just saying, hello, James. Right. Hmm. Okay, well, it's a music podcast, and uh, you're one of the few guests we've ever had on it who's got their own music career stem on yeah. Wikipedia. That's so good, I, isn't it? I've got you on it as a musician, James. We're going to talk about music. Yeah. Your music career stem comes before your comedy career stem on Wikipedia. Yes. And well, after. Yes, it, 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 it wraps it up, yet. really. And it goes Would around it? the sides as well. Yes. It's, it runs through it like a stick of rock. 
Would you like to go through your music career stem in detail? Oh, yeah. Please. OK, well, I, I'll read it out and I want you to fill in roughly every fourth word. I'll leave a gap. <clears throat> yep. Go on. Well, it, it, just, it would be excuse me, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? What? Well, OK. You can't prove which one of us that was. I can try. It was you. It wasn't me. I've never done that. I can't it was do you. It. The listeners I, know it was mm, you. The listeners don't. I can't do that on on uh, on order. I can't do it on purpose. Can you? No. No. I, I I don't get people who do that. I think in school I maybe tried to do it because there was you know the kid in school who could do that, and I think I just nearly made myself sick. I think all the band can probably do it. We might all find of your out. band. Everyone right. in the horn section can do it. How have you not taken advantage of that and done a song well, where you're where they're all doing burps? We you may do it. You know. We may, late in life. we may meet them later on in about 20 minutes, so let's ask them. Let's not forget. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I would put money on all of them can do it except for the pianist. Ed. Is that who it is? That's his name. Okay, so every roughly fourth word, but by the end you'll be saying the whole thing. Acaster previously played... Drums. In various local... Bands. In Northamptonshire, including the... Wow. Scenario. When... He... Yeah, I'll give you that. Acaster was a member <laughs> of the Capri Sun Quartet. He was known as Sir William Strawberry after the Capri. No, the other no. one. Wow. wow. Scenario broke up. He, and then I'm doing the speech Tried. thing. Close. Started. Close. Um, You've made a decision. Decided. Decided to do comedy. <laughs> Before figuring it, yeah, deciding what he really wanted to do. The Wow right. Scenario recorded an album entitled "Stand in the Star: A Verse and a Chorus" in 2007, which was never released. A, a caster announced in 2017 that he had began. No, he reunited. Yes, with the Wow Scenario to record, re-record, finish recording "Stand in yeah. the Star," and that it would be released. In 2018. However, and the whole of the last sentence, please. Uh, however, that never happened, and he says they're still working on it yes. at the moment. Yeah. That's, that's the gist, thing. isn't it? That's the gist. Developments are still awaited on this project. Yes. Developments are still awaited. Well, what we pro- did is we recorded all the music again, and then we, with members of the horn section. Member of the horn section? Was it more than one yeah. of them? One. Well, well, actually, well, we one for that members. one. Yeah. I, I've worked with members of the horn section, various members of the horn section on various music projects. I've yes, done. you're another person who poaches my band. Well, they're they're their own people. They're not your band. They're not their own people. They really are. And also, when they're not around you, that they're more of a laugh. They're not. They're not because they're they? not. They're not. They're not looking over their shoulder all the time because Daddy's going to tell them off. Daddy will still tell them off. Yeah. Well, when Daddy yeah. finds out, he'll find out what they've been doing. I'd quite like to know uh, if and how much you pay them because so it's you, mm. Buxton, and Key. Poach my band members. Yes. <laughs> yes. Quite an odd situation. Yeah. My my girls. Yep. Um, <laughs> are you generous with them? Try to be. They refuse mm. payment a lot of the time. Yeah, they are. Uh, recently, with uh, Mark and Joe, I had to insist that I paid them. And even then, they didn't charge me as much as I would have liked to have paid them. But I was like, please, Mark, let me pay you this time. Mm. Mm. And then he They're really not like that with it. me. They're not like that with me at all. Um, I no, was well, you, talk, you take oh, advantage of them a bit. I, I, I think I do, and I think I think they like it, and I think everyone likes it. You're listening to the Horn Section podcast, and my name is Alex Horn Section. Okay, guys, straw poll time. What do you all think about straw? It's okay. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Great <laughs> joke. Ben, drinks. you're yeah, the drummer. <laughs> yes. What's that like then? I like it. It's are fun. you a bit like Are you a bit like the goalkeeper in a football match? Yeah, I guess so. Are you a bit like the, the person b- behind the deli in the supermarket? Uh, less so. Are you a bit like the one who looks after the insects in the zoo? No. <laughs> are you Are you a bit like a weather forecaster? No. Great, and you've got a game for us today. Great, great. <laughs> Go for it, Ben. <laughs> great Hit the theme, ben. Joe. largest satellite in our solar system and allow me to toy with glowing hot balls of plasma. Grant me con- 
Science sent to observe what life is like on a gas giant planet and the red planet. In other words. Right, guys. <laughs> right work that so was, far. It's quite something. So, what I've done is run some famous songs through a thesaurus, so the words you will hear retain the same meaning as the original lyrics, but obviously sound very different. I haven't sorted out a point system. Any ideas? One, one million each. for each run. Oh, yeah, answers. sorry, one million each. Yeah, one million for each correct answer. One million. Very good. Write that good, down. Good idea, Mark. Thank you. It's a big, okay. big number, isn't it? Sorry, Ben, I'm just saying it's a big number, isn't it, Mark? <laughs> yeah, sort of. So there's 10 million up for grabs. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Do you reckon we can have a little pad music, Ed? But you can buzz in as well with maybe changing your tune or something. OK, easy one to warm up with. Here we go. Juvenile dogfish. Accomplish, complete, execute, prepare, perform, conclude. Infant hammerhead. Accomplish, complete, execute, prepare, perform, <laughs> conclude. <laughs> oh. Yes, ba Mark. It's baby shark. Yes, Mark. Oh, Wins one quiz. point. Two, right. Sorry, two, two million, million points. Wow, Excellent. he's so far ahead of us in the points. <laughs> he's, it's an unassailable lead. Let's, let's, change, it, the, let's change the point system because million, it seems too many now. Mm. Oh, change it now? Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's just go yeah, with one now. Point, Mark, one million? Actually. Back to one million. But okay. I've got two million though, right? Because yeah. you can't change it. The last question is always worth ten million, so it'll be fine. Okay. I'm relaxed. <clears throat> okay, next You're one. You're relaxed, okay. you're relaxed, Joe, because I don't think you've scored a single point in the whole series <laughs> <laughs> podcast quizzes. That's not true. I did very well in the hip-hop episode. <laughs> I didn't say a word. <laughs> <laughs> Next song, here we go. I'd rather you weren't my servant. I'd rather you didn't do your job from dawn till dusk. I'd rather you were honest. I only want to fornicate with you. Fornicate with you. Oh... I yes. Who was that? Is it? I just want to make love to you. <gasps> yes, it is. Oh, two, million, your face, two million. Two million points, million points to Joe. <laughs> you, should, you shouldn't. Have, you shouldn't have got him wound up. You know what he's like know, when yeah. he gets angry. <laughs> You've poked the hornet's nest here. You never <laughs> gonna win every week. <laughs> We're moving swiftly into the theme tune round. Maybe you oh. can give me some theme tune music, Ed. Perfect. <laughs> 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 what, what theme's that, Ed? <laughs> Co Cox and robbers. Yeah. <laughs> Cops and robbers. OK, robbers. here we go. It's an easy one. Cops. Robbers. People next... Listen. People next door. Neighbours. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. <laughs> Alex, two million points. Uh, he didn't buzz in. He didn't buzz in. My buzz was neighbours. Neighbours. I oh, always have... say neighbours is a buzz. OK, it has to stay like that now. Yeah. Uh, back he to didn't the theme, buzz please, in. Ed. He didn't <laughs> buzz in. I'm buzzing after getting that question right. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> okay, this is the chorus only. It's a pop song. Ooh. Hello? Yes. Hello? Beep, beep, beep. Yes. Is it hello? No. Remember, it's gone through a thesaurus. Oh, yeah. Mark's out. I'll start. I'll no, go back well, to the bye top. Bye what do you mean I'm out? Bye I'm bye. out. He means you're out. <laughs> of the horn section. It's quite, it's quite clear. <laughs> yeah, you're sacked. <laughs> oh, wow. Better. Well, see you later. <laughs> Here we are. Chorus <laughs> only. Going back to the beginning. Hello? Yes. Hello, yes. Hello, yes. Oh, baby. Hello, yes. Joe. Is it, um, is there anybody out there? The Pink Floyd song. <laughs> <laughs> no, is no uh, one getting I, that? Uh, oh, that's, that's interesting. Oh, we're very intrigued by this one. It's Hey Ya. Hello, yes. Oh, oh hey -ya. Of it is. Ah. Come oh. on, guys. Well done, Ben. Okay, last one. <laughs> Something quite, um... Can we have Fly Me to the Moon again? Yeah, something <laughs> yes. quite fly me to the moon, please, yeah. Ed. <laughs> Supreme being rescue our congenial empress. Don't die soon, our upright monarch. Ah, Omnipresent but, 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 being... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Alex. It's got to save the Queen. Yeah. Yes, and he we stomped into the lead. Oh. Four million points. <laughs> That's just because it's your favourite song. It's the right tune. It's a That's nice the tune. end. Well done. Oh, what? Alex wins. Four million. Thanks, guys. And I want to give my points back to Ben Reynolds because that was the best quiz ever. Ben, That's pretty good, wasn't it? May I yes. present you with four million points. Oh, oh thanks, oh, man. Let's check back in on James Acaster. So, look, James, I was going to talk about your, your band, but I did a bit of research and you've discussed it to death already, yes. I think, with the likes of Robbins and Whittacombe and Graham. 
Yeah, I get grilled. You got grilled. But just to quickly summarise it, Capri San Quartet, the new hardcore skiffle movement and the yep. WoW scenario. Yeah. Uh, genre? Are they all the same genre? Not the same genre, uh, you know, but, but very, WoW scenario was experimental jazz pop. Yeah. And, you know, before that, folk funk in the Capri San Quartet. Great. New hardcore skiffle movement was hardcore punk. Yeah. What I don't think they did get to the bottom of was uh, your musical background. It strikes me... Yes. That a bit like myself, you just joined a band without any um, um, uh, sort of talent or ability. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, but, but yeah, I was 13 when I started bands. And also, mm. I had ability. I've been playing the drums since I was seven. Okay. And stuff. So that was okay. I mean, comedy, really, the comedy was what was <laughs> no talent or ability was starting that. That's true. But we yeah. do all start comedy without any training, don't we? That's the difference. You and can't we do join the hardest a... gigs in the world. Yeah. We're at our worst. Aren't we brave? Aren't we brave boys? Idiots. I was too stupid to realise it was a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's that true. It. If we were clever enough, we would never have done it. Yeah. Um, so you did play... Did you have formal drum training? I had a drum teacher. I mean, mm-hmm. My first drum teacher was just um, a friend of the family. Like my, my parents' friends, their son played the drums. So he just taught me. He's a teenager. So he's taught me drums. And then I had a drum teacher at school who hated me and at one point uh, chucked all the music on the floor really angrily because he thought I was a cocky little shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you have music with drums? Yeah, it's all yeah. written down. Uh, diff- each line is a different drum and stuff like that. Is it just diagrams um, though, basically? Is it just pointing... No, 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 it, it looks like any other kind of music. Is it? But it's all like, they're all different drums and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ben will back me up. Is Ben joining this later? Uh, uh, I don't know yet. I don't well, know he'll yet. He'll back me up. Um, when did you get your first kit and do you still have a kit? Uh, seven years old, I got my first kit. Uh, it was donated to us by the church that my parents uh, went to. I love um, a church still, drum kit. Yep, yeah, still have the bass drum skin on my, my bedroom wall, my very first bass drum skin. Uh, I do not have a drum kit anymore because I recently donated my drum kit to the school that I used to work at oh. and I gave them the drum kit so that they could use it in their music uh, rooms. Well, that's very heartwarming. I sort of wish you'd given it to a church and it could have been a bit more of a cir- circular yes, story. but I don't like church as much now as an adult. So, you know, as a kid, I loved church and now I think it's full of nerds. Well, let's plough into this. What's wrong with the church, James? Don't like, I don't really like religion very much. I don't really uh, like Christianity very much, all the guilt cool. involved in it. Yeah. So, yeah, not going to encourage them. Can I quickly talk about your musical performance on Taskmaster? Yeah. You had a task involving three nice musicians. You had to compose the best yes. three seconds of music, uh, 30 seconds of music. Yes. yes. Over my shoulder, well, older and older, I'm getting colder. Well, I was going to say, do you remember the um, the words? But yes, you do. Over my shoulder, Mm -hmm. is that a boulder? That's what I told you. Very good. What was the name of the band? Clump Stump. Clump Stump. Um, (laughs) uh, We had Jessica Napa on this recently, and she also remembered every word of hers. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you remember how many points? Hers was instrumental. Hers was instrumental? Do you you remember what hers was called? No. No, nor do I. Something to do with a triangle. Um, do you remember yeah. how many points you got? Do you feel aggrieved? And, and where do you think Wang came? So, do I remember how many points I got? I I think I do. I think I got four points. Is that C- correct? Correct. Uh, Wang was probably last. Of course. Um, And I was aggrieved, actually. It was the only time I was genuinely aggrieved. There was all the times on it where, like, I got involved in arguments with Rod... And it was actually a laugh and it was fun to just lean into the kind of mock frustration of it. This was the only time <laughs> where I was genuinely angry. So I think Greg says about me quite a few times in the series that I'm genuinely angry and I wasn't. But for that, I was genuinely angry because Rod Gilbert did a 90 second song mm. and the task was do a 30 second song. And what annoyed me about that, yeah, Alex... He's pointing his fingers, listeners. What annoyed me about that was not that he had broken the rules and uh, he got the points. Uh, just so you know, you got the same amount of points as Rod and Jessica Knappett won the task. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear a little bit of Clump Stump. Watch this space. Over my shoulder, older and older. That's what I told you. Over my shoulder, I'm getting colder. Is that a boulder? Oh, 
Over my shoulder. Older and older. That's what I told you. Really pleased with that song. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what else I was aggrieved about with that song. Oh, yes, yes, please do. When we recorded it, uh, there was a bell, like a little, like a hotel bell, like mm-hmm. a ding, ding, reception bell. It was on the thing. And uh, someone, it might have been you, might be one of the Andes, said, um, at the end of the song, do you want to try and hit that bell? I remember this. And I was like, okay. So we played it, played the song. So I'd already played it once. And not hit the bell. And then they went, do you want to try again? But this time hit the bell. So I, okay. I tried again, tried to hit the bell and missed it. Did it again, tried to hit it and missed it. Did it again. And I hit it perfectly on the end. Really Ding! well. And really it was lovely. great. Yeah. And then in the studio, they played my version of the song and they didn't use the version where I hit the bell. And I was like, what was all that getting me to hit the bell? What were you using that one for? <laughs> Worth clinging on to this sort of thing. Yeah, no, it's, wor- it's worth getting upset about not... Yeah. I mean, look, My I guess- nephews are currently watching Taskmaster. Right. They're five and eight, and they're watching the PG ones that you guys have released. Okay, they're not perfectly PG, but fine. Yep. No, they've... they've, they've, they've I mean, the main thing, they watched the first episode, because they've started with, with the series that I'm on, obviously. You're, yeah, you're the best series. The best series. Mm-hmm. And they watched the first episode. By the way, it's their favourite thing in the world now. Like, they're obsessed with it. They watch it every Saturday and it's really hard to get them uh, to bed afterwards because they're so giddy about it. And they insist on FaceTiming me and recounting to me everything that's happened, asking me questions. Oh, the dear. main thing after the first one that, that they couldn't get over was that they saw your bum. And they couldn't get over it. And apparently my oldest nephew's eight kept mm-hmm. on saying for like the rest of the for days afterwards he'd start laughing and say i can't believe we saw that man's bottom well i think they're going to see it again it. soon aren't they Which is and he boring. asked he asked if alex horn was aware that everyone would see it like did alex horn know that we would all see it when i it didn't went know on TV? i didn't know james acaster's nephews were going to see my bum i may yes. i may have reacted slightly differently yes uh, sorry well they thought it was the best thing i mean you ought to remember they've never seen that on tv They've never seen that happen, so it absolutely blew their minds. <laughs> I suppose it would. Someone and, would get their bum out on and TV. And I can see why they would find it funny. My kids would find that oh, pretty funny. It's destroyed them. They they love the fact they got to see your bum. And they think it's the funniest thing ever. Now, James, you know about music, obviously. Yes. But do you know more about music than the band? Let's find out. Oh. They are now leaving the waiting room and entering the main room. Hello, bo- hello, boys. They can't hear us. Part two. Is this the that better? I think, it's, I think we started. Yeah. Oh, no, we started ages ago. <laughs> this is... It's fine. We're recording This our is end, mad. The situation is I'm calling Mark and uh, they'll all be able to hear us through that. Hello? What? Hello, Mark. How's that? Oh, yeah, it's speakerphone. Speakerphone? Hello? Yeah, can you this hear me now, Mark? This is the most cockamamie yes, setup. I like this. This is a, this is like talking to my parents. Mm. All right, well, look, let's get on with the quiz. This is a bit... Right, stop it. It's time for the quiz. Um, first When's the up, quiz going to start? No, it's time for the quiz, he just said. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be James versus Mark, first of all, it's gonna and be James then James versus, versus the next first. person. Okay. 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 Oh, I like that. So, That's a good idea. Round one is songs. I'm going to say the name of a band. Mark and then James are going to take it in turns to say songs by the band immediately. Whoever gets one wrong wow. or pauses for more than a second is out. Okay. I all love right? this. Oh, God. I this love is, it. This is round one, and your fir- your each of the band members are going to have a go on this. Okay. Round oh. one, Mark, you're starting. Round one is the Rolling Stones. Go. Satisfaction. Ah, oh, so Jumping Jack Flash. Honky Tonk Woman. She smiled sweetly. And that's your hesitation. <laughs> James gets a point. This is just just a minute, isn't it? I love this. This is nothing like just a minute. Just a minute <laughs> when you have to talk for a minute with no hesitation. Okay, so now it's okay. Will's go, is it? Yes. Oh, no, and Will's got a band he doesn't like, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, very good getting She Smiles Sweetly. That's from their... Uh, is it their 1967 album, Between the Buttons? I think no so. No idea. Who, what? What did you say? I just know it's in a Wes Anderson film. All right, Will, yep. get ready to say songs by ABBA. Go, Willip. Uh, Dancing Queen. Mamma Mia. Uh, Fernando. I was going to say Fernando. Uh, and that's your hesitation. Yeah, it's one that's one. Fair enough. Right. <laughs> one, one. Are we all enjoying? Okay. And that's your hesitation. Okay, one I would have one. been really good at Abba. Well, yeah. that's the way the cookie crumbles. And we have Reynolds Hi. with Please Say Songs by Oasis. 
Uh, Wonderwall. Stand by me. Don't look back in anger. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Champagne Supernova. Some might say. Uh... And that's your hesitation. It's 2 1 to <laughs> Acaster. Please pass it on. Oh, I'm enjoying round one. There's only two more in round one. This is so fun. Well, wait till, you, wait till you get on round two. <laughs> yeah. Glad it won't be embarrassing. High flying Welcome, birds. Joe Walton, yeah, to the quiz. <laughs> Um, Good luck, Joe, you thicko. <laughs> uh, hang on. Um, please say songs by the Spice Girls. Who starts? You. Wanna be. Say so you'll be there. Uh, <laughs> Mama. 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 Stop right now. Stop. Um, spice up your life. Spice up your life. <laughs> uh, and that's the hesitation because Mark is Googling it and I can see him Googling it in the background. I can't believe the competitiveness of the horn section. <laughs> cheating. Right, 3-1. If there's any more cheating, Acaster will get a bonus point. 3-1, please Ed, put the pianist Ed. on. Welcome to the quiz, the pianist. Hello. Welcome Hello. to the quiz, Ed. Get that close. Cool. <laughs> that's really loud. Yeah. <laughs> that's because you were basically eating the microphone. OK, ready? The pianist, please say songs by Bruce Springsteen. Uh, born in the USA. Born to run. I'm out. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, James born wins round one. <laughs> James, yes. is, James wins round one. Ideally, the band will win, will win round two, and then we'll have a decider. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, okay. But come back for that later on in the podcast, listener. Oh, you can see why he's one of the most popular comedians in the country today, can't you guys? <laughs> no, he is. Sure he's my favourite. He's my favourite. He's very funny. But does he have music teachers in Austria recording covers of his songs while sneaking in references to perfumes <laughs> and, put, and putting the whole thing on YouTube? No, he does not. But we do. And so here is a new feature called Cover Stories. This, this is, is what you're waiting about. for. Yes, it's time for Cover Stories. This is one and there'll be more of these little cover stories. Cover Stories. Today's cover story is all about a man called Andreas who did this cover of our lockdown song, I Miss People. I miss the dentist God knows I even miss the pain The man that reads my paper Over my shoulder on the train I miss the turnstiles the pat down and the frisk A complicated handshake Where I end up looking like a tit The pop toilet Oh, the smell of all the piss And I miss granny As I try to dodge a kiss upon the lips I miss people I didn't think that I would I miss people Whether they're bad or they're good I miss people People like you I miss people Nearly the whole neighbourhood I miss people Those that I've misunderstood I, miss I then people. found Andreas and talked to him and this is what we said to each other Ah, here we are. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> How's your day been? Um, it was all right. I was actually trying to distract myself by recording another song, so everything's fine okay. up to now. <laughs> to explain to the listener who you are, mm -hmm. I found you on the internet, and I guess you found us on the internet. We found each other. We did. <laughs> and I found you because you put up a song on the internet. You put up a cover of, of a horn section song, which occasionally happens, not very often, but yours was the most intriguing there's ever been. Was so it? I, did, I, I Yeah, so I wanted to talk to you. So I, I tracked you down. And where are you? And, oh, also, what's your name? Um, my name is Andreas Scheubert. Very difficult to pronounce, probably, for an English person. But um, I am currently in Salzburg, uh, but I am German, so... So it's Schubert, not Schubert. Yeah, but very close to the composer Schubert, yeah. And how, why and where did you hear the horn section for the first time? <sighs> That's a difficult question. I think it all started with uh, me watching YouTube videos and Taskmaster. And then okay. I found out that you had a band. And then it was um, the countdown version of... Um, 21 Cats Do Countdown, or what's it? Mm -hmm. And do you often, do you write your own music, Andreas? Well, 
I used to. I was a member of a band when I was young, like 17, 18. But I predominantly now, I, I don't know how it happened. It really was a lockdown thing. You start doing silly things. You discover that you've got Garage Band on your iPad. And uh-huh. <laughs> then you start recording songs. And Or I actually started... Um, I learned how to edit videos because we did Taskmaster at school and I watched your version of home tasking. So I offered it myself and I learned how to edit videos like that. And that's where it all started. And so the, the, the song that I heard you playing was uh, I Miss People, mm-hmm. which um, which I really like. We've never played it live because of the pandemic, um, but we hope to one day. But it's quite a sad song, um, it is. I think. Yeah, but your version's even sadder. For some reason, it's quite melancholic. Is it? But it's, it's very nice. It's lovely. But but I suppose we, because I can't sing, I'm not a singer, Andreas, whereas you've got a nice voice. So I thought it made it, made it sound even more uh, moving. But also, you combined it with your love of fragrances. I did. <laughs> why did you do that? And why, why do you love fragrances so much, Andreas? Um, I think I have always always loved fragrances. It's just something, I think scent connects us. There's something, a deep connection within us that if you smell something, it can take you back in time. So I was always wearing fragrances. Um, I have fond memories of like rubbing mint leaves between my palms. And right. um, I'm always looking for mint in fragrances, for example. The reason why I did your song is because I was tagged by another reviewer and her name is Smurfy Girly and she did a freedom fragrance tag. So about fragrances that we're looking forward to wearing as soon as the pandemic is over. I see. And I thought, wow. This is more complicated than I thought. It is. (laughs) I didn't know Smurfy Girl was involved. (laughs) Yeah, she was. (laughs) Um... (laughs) Yeah, she's to blame, basically, for all of this here. Um, so are you saying in during the pandemic you're not wearing... Uh, do you put it on? Do you put them on during pandemic or, or um, is, is there no point? In the video I said that I didn't, but I do. Okay. <laughs> because sometimes they do calm me down. Like, um, And, yeah, it can really lift your mood, can't it? Mm. Like a fresh orange fragrance or something. Well, we, we thought we'd play your version, but obviously you can't see the fragrance references when you're listening to it. But do check out the video because you've associated the right fragrance with the right part of the song. So we yeah, can talk about uh, the, the part. lyrics really helped here. Because yeah, you, you picked had... a song, you picked a fragrance to go with each line. Yeah, because you had like um, with the pop toilets that the, the smell of something. <laughs> yeah, what would that be in German? The same word, What's... basically. Pissing. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes German and English can be quite similar, can't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, can we? I, I'd really like to stay in touch, and if you do any more songs, just just send send them over. I will. <laughs> uh, but we'll definitely try to send people your way. So, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, Andreas? it is. Um, it's the name is also complicated for people that speak English. Servus fragrance. Servus, is spelled like. Um, the slave in Latin, but in that Aus- will help, yeah. yeah. S e r v u s. Yes, and in German or in Austrian dialect, it means hello and goodbye. Yeah, I there should have is. thought about the name when I started my channel. <laughs> but uh, uh, no, but you've got you, yeah. There it is. You had a big beard for a time, but now I should describe you. <laughs> it's a fancy moustache. Yeah, it, it just because of um, having to wear FFP two masks here. So I'm going to surprise everyone. As soon as the masks come off, uh, it'll be a big surprise to the pupils and students. <laughs> you've done um, a Beyonce song. Yeah. You've done a horn section song. There's a lot for everyone. So, um, yeah, hopefully <laughs> your, your subscribers, you'll have four extra. That's what I'm oh. imagining. That's what we can offer you. That's enough for me. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that was Andreas in Austria. Now it's back to James in England. Right, we're, we're now back. It's round two, everyone. It's round two. Okay. Mark has the headphones on. James, how are you feeling after your victory of round one? Exhilarated. Mm-hmm. Mark, how are you feeling? Uh, I feel like all our questions fell to the wrong member. Well, James hadn't got that excuse. He has to be all the members. I know. he's a... Yes. Yeah, that's true, I suppose. Round two is album covers. I describe the cover. You say what it is and who it's Ooh. by. It's just a race this time. OK. But so... you can only have three guesses. Here we go. Oh, I can see two people. Both of them have long hair. One has their hair in a ponytail. They also have a beard. The two people are holding hands. Oh, it's Fleetwood Mac. Rumours. 
It is! Yay! And that's impressive. That was very good, Mark. Please pass your headphones to... to Willip. Is it Willip oh, next? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Willip. I'm now going to describe an album cover. I need the band and the album, please. Red and white stripes in the background. White stripes. That's one of your guesses. You only have three. And a man in the foreground facing away from camera. Yeah. You can mainly only see his ass, but he's wearing jeans, a white T-shirt. Bruce Springsteen. A nice belt, Born yes. in the USA. Correct, it's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. I, I knew it was going to be that before the quiz started. Well, why didn't you say it, Will it? <laughs> I'm going to the tip of my tongue. That's not how games work. Will doesn't know how quizzes work. Welcome to the album covers round. Ben Reynolds. Thank you. I'm ready. OK. There's a graveyard with approximately 30 graves in it. The name of the band is above the graveyard, hewn from marble. There are hands in the top corners of the cover. Oh, holding uh, Metallica, strings. Master of Puppets. I, I can yes. give you that because that is correct. 1986 album. Yes, well done. 2-1, two, uh, one, two one. Excellent. Yes, we're all enjoying ourselves. We're all enjoying ourselves. Joe Auckland is next up. 2-1. You're going down, Jimmy. If you get this one right, <laughs> oh. then it's one round all. OK. <laughs> There's a lot going on on this album cover. There's the sea, and it's blue, and the sky, and it's blue too. And there's a big face on the top right looking out to sea, and two people hugging at the bottom in the middle. And one of their hair is sort of like smoke going up into the clouds above the sea. And in the bottom left, there's a sort of flower slash fire, and it's from 1969. And all three of the characters are black, but the big face has blue lips. And one of the hugging people with the smoke hair has bangles on their arm, and there's lightning in the sky, oh, and it's yes, jazz. Uh, Joe, Joe Auckland, Bitches Brew. Yes. It is Bitches oh. Brew by Miles Davis. Oh. Oh. They fall I'm better. Trounced in the album covers. <laughs> they, yeah, well, they've fallen down. better this time, I think. They've fallen yeah. more yeah, happily. Right, put the, I mean, that was never fair. Put the pianist back on. OK, it is going to be one round each. We're going to go to a decider, but this is the last of the album covers. Hi, James. Oh, this microphone's Hello. really loud. Hello, Ed. Yes, OK. <laughs> it's a black and white photo. There's a man with a guitar. There's pink and green writing, pink down the left side, green on the bottom. The Clash, London Calling. Correct! It mimics Elvis Presley's album, but it the, is... The Clash, the London, Clash calling, London Calling, is it? <laughs> so, James Ed. did claw one back, but he lost the round 3-2. We go to a decider. Mark? We feel like we're back James? Here. Yes. yes. It's one round all. It's round three, The Decider. And this round is called Which Dave Am I? Which Dave Am oh. I? Yes. I'm going to I'm going to take I'm going to assume a Dave and again you buzz in but this time you only have one guess. Okay. So if there's a wrong guess you're out. Yes. Is it No googling. Is it just me? No, it's just one at a time again. Just one, one at a time, time again. again. Okay, here we go. My name is Dave. I was born on May the 14th. I live in New York. I like cycling and I don't drive a car. David Byrne. Correct, ah, it is David Byrne. It is, yeah, well done. I have designed some bike racks. <laughs> My first band was called Bizaddy. David Byrne. Well done, David Byrne, very quick. OK, please hand your headphones to Willip Collier. What Dave am I? It's 1-0 to James Acaster in The Decider. Willip is on. Yep. Now remember, no googling, no chatting, no conferring, please. One section. Dave Grohl. If you do any wrong guesses, you're out. <laughs> you, no yeah, wrong I guesses, I didn't please. Tell them that rule, though. No, I didn't tell them that rule. Dave Here Grohl. we go. You've only got one guess. Shut up, Willip. And also, we can only just hear you. So oh. maybe folk. Yeah, that's it. My name is Dave. I was born on August the fourteenth, and I am an American. I was in two big famous bands, actually. Dave Grohl. I well, Willip's out, because he's an oh. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so can you get this, James? I play bass That was and... an OK guess, in a way. In, uh, in a way. Until I say, I gave Bob Dylan his first number one hit by writing Mr Tambourine Man. I got my own cannabis brand called Mighty Cros. I like sailing. I did go to prison for David nine months. David Crosby. It is David Crosby. It is David Crosby. It's 2-0. If he wins the next Dave, he's okay. won the game. My name is Dave. I trained to be a jockey and won a horse race at the age of 50. That was in 1996. I was on the Ed Sullivan Show when the Beatles made their debut. I made another Dave change his name. I died on a leap day in 2012. I share my name with a pirate. I'm in a band and a TV show that Maybe share a name. The, the, the name of my band is an animal spelt wrong. Yeah. Oh, what's his I name? I was in My Two Dads and Scooby-Doo. And my biggest songs were Daydream Believer 
And I'm a believer. Davy Jones. It is Davy yes. Jones. Yes. Oh, that was quite tense. I knew it was the guy from the monkeys. I could not think in your yeah, face. Same name as David Bowie. And he Excellent. made David Bowie change his name. Yes. Okay. Welcome to which Dave am I? Joe Auckland. It's 2 1. You need Pleasure this to, to take. Here. Yes, okay. <laughs> right, here we go. Remember, any wrong Dave's and you're out. Oh, God. My name is Dave. I was in a TV show from 1982 to 1986, and then another one, but I am a great musician. My first album was called Night Rocker, and it was huge in Austria. There's a crab with a hairy chest named after me. I support Partick Thistle oh, FC. David Hasselhoff. They both said it. I mean, James said it first, but they both said it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I couldn't, I couldn't split them. So it's 2-1 to James. And it goes to the last one. Either it's a draw or a win to Acaster. Yes. So yes, they, they're both happy with that. My name is Dave. I was born on August the 8th, 1961. And I play guitar and sometimes keyboard. And I do backing vocals in a nice band. I've recorded 14 albums with my nice band. I've got a brother called Dick. I'm number 13 in Spin's list of 100 greatest... That's the doorbell. In Spin's list... That's the doorbell. In Spin's list of 100 greatest guitarists. And number 35 of Rolling Stone's greatest songwriters of all time. I always wear a little hat. Dave Gilmore? He's done the wrong Dave. <gasps> I've done the wrong Dave. <laughs> um, the singer in the band has a nickname too, and he's a dog biscuit. I'm oh, Irish. No. My nickname comes from the shape of my head. I know who it is. My surname is the same as the British number one tennis player. And that is all your clues. Five seconds. We need a guess. Dave Murray. It's wrong. We have a winner. Who was the Dave, James Acaster? Well, I started thinking it was The Edge and it was like... It, it is it, The is Edge. That, yes. No. Same surname as the British number one tennis player. No. Dave Evans. <laughs> I, I am Dave it. Evans. James Acaster, you have okay. beaten the band. Oh, I beat the band. Okay. Good game. Right. Good game. Okay. Good game. Good game. Good Goodbye, game. band. Bye, band. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye James. Bye, James. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> right, lads. Mm. Everyone all right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, thanks for asking. Mm. We're going to play another game, hot, of, hot off the heels of the last game. Is that cool Ooh. with everyone? Yeah, 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 that's yeah. fine. A lot of people got in touch because we did the magic song in the uh, mashup episode, and I swore a lot with Romesh. So we're going to play another game of the magic song. This week, in honour of James's off-menu podcast, all the songs, and there are three, have a food theme. So it's like Ben's game. You have to buzz in when you know it. Uh, when you know what song I'm listening to on my headphones and trying to sing along with, how many points do you want to play for, guys? Let's one. do one. Let's do fractions. Yeah, should we think there's one to one point in total to be won across the three? So it's a oh, third. Tension. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good. This is, this it's is a good. third per question. Yeah. All right. And I'm now listening to it. ba 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 bloop ba do ba dup we are to party. Ooh, deep. Ooh, someone reached and grabbed it. It was a rock lobster. Do 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 do. Yes, Mark. Is it uh, the B52's Love Shack? No, it's uh, all to do with food. I was going to say that. Mark. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, staying alive. <laughs> rock lobster. I mean, that's a clue. What? Ba, 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 da, da, da. Do, you got the right band. Do, 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 Is it the B 52s? Yes. Do, rock, do, rock lobster. Rock lobster, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a third of a point to Mark Brown. <laughs> Only two more. This I always thought this was the same band as that one. Uh, here we go. Do 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 do
Which one? Pe- 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 peaches. It is peaches. They're all about food. Well done. So it's a third each, and then it's the final song. So I've gone through this pretty quick, and this is my favourite song. Um, here we go. Uh, yeah, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, Joe Auckland. Yes, Joe. Is it the happy world of Haribo? You know what? You're not far off. That's what it sounded like. I'm going to carry on. The, the person. But it's not, no, but I know. But, I know what it is. Yes, Mark. Is it, is it Robbie Williams' candy? It is. Which it turns out is based on the Haribo theme tune. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark wins two thirds to a third, and we got that I mean, done very quickly. Yeah. Mm. What's wrong? Have you got a point, Joe? No, no. 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 <laughs> Why? Well, you started saying something. No. Well, you did. You, you definitely did. <laughs> what was it? What was it going to be? No, well, I stopped. Yeah. You know the rules, Joe. <laughs> if you start if something, you have saying, to finish it. it goes, yeah, <laughs> the thing is, it wasn't worth saying. So. Yeah. What was it about? Was it about Robbie? No. No? Was it about no. me? No. No? Was it about me? No. Well, that's, <laughs> what, so what was it was it completely about? unrelated. <laughs> yeah. Did you okay. remember I just, something? I just remember something, yeah. <laughs> yeah what, what did you remember? <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I, I, before I came out to the caravan, I hadn't done the washing up because... Um, Emma's decorating the kitchen, so I couldn't get to the sink. And I was just thinking, oh, bollocks. When I, even after all this, I'm going to have to go in and do the washing up. Well, a couple of questions. Who's Emma and why are you in a caravan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why, is she de- why is she decorating the kitchen and you're not? Yeah. Um, why are you we, helping? We have roles, don't we? Hang on. Yeah, are you, are you a terrible sexist? <laughs> no, I'm Mark. saying you should be helping doing it together. <laughs> oh, yeah. right, OK. Well, because I've got a podcast. It's I'm, your version you've got a podcast, a separate sexist, podcast. never helping with anything. <laughs> <laughs> also, I isn't Emma we, pregnant I've, with your two children? I've, they I've made out it yet? clear that I'm doing the washing up this evening, Will, so uh, there's no accusations <laughs> of sexism coming my way. I take it back. <laughs> Look, it's, it, we're, we're all having a lot of fun. I'm sorry <laughs> to bully you then, Joe, but... Um, I enjoyed it. Why, yeah. was, why did you remember that at that point, though? Oh, no, it wasn't that, really. I was just saying oh, what was what I thought. <laughs> 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 yeah, I didn't That's think what it was I that. thought. Hmm. Was it something bad, Joe? Because I'm not, I'm not leaving you alone, I think. <laughs> no, it wasn't anything bad, no. Was it just, it was just something that thing I started to say? saying? Th- yeah, exactly. So I thought I won't bother saying that. Here right. we are, five minutes later. <laughs> what, was the, what was the gist of it? It's, now the, it. it's now the main bit of the podcast. So, <laughs> yeah, give us a clue. Give us a sort of hint of it, though. It'd be nice to know what we um, missed. <laughs> we just I sung the candy song. Give us yeah, a what, hint. What, 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 what was the preamble? <laughs> it's like Haribo. Oh yeah, it was the Happy World of Haribo. I don't think, yeah, it hadn't even fully formed. I think, I think the reason I stopped was because I was going to, I was going to, it was going to be some kind of joke about Robbie Williams' music and the Happy World of Haribo, and I hadn't really got to the conclusion of the thought even. So I thought I better stop speaking. <laughs> well, maybe we can workshop it now. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be listening. So. Will he? Yeah. Oh. We well, can't watch Hi, Robbie. it. Oh, yeah. hello, Robbie. <laughs> Robbie, we're going to check back in with James Acaster now. Here he is. I think you have eclectic taste, James. Is that fair enough? It's an honour that you think that. Well, because of that, I thought we were going to create your perfect song right now. Uh, yes. You sort of did that on Taskmaster, but you were limited by those three musicians. Mm-hmm. Uh, this time the band will listen to your answers here and create your perfect song. I'd love it. So we're going to start off. Uh, I need two genres from you, James. What are your favourite two genres? Uh... Hip hop mm-hmm. and I guess indie rock. Yeah. We won't sing in a hip hop way because, uh, you know. Um, yep. So there'll be a hip hop beat and singing in an indie way. Uh, would you like your perfect song? Oh, uh, how many? Where? Would you like your perfect song to be fast or slow? How many beats per minute? Bearing in mind, Hey Jude is 74.2, Firestarter is 142. Well, I either want it incredibly slow or incredibly fast. I just need a number here. How many beats per minute, James? How long? Did, how fast did you say Firestarter was? One hundred and forty-two. 
50. Whoa. 50 beats per minute. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a slow hip hop song, but that's fine. Any particular key, yeah. James? Tim Key. Okay, we'll do it in the key. In the key Funny little joke. Yeah, e. no, no, it was good. E, okay. Uh, lyrics wise, um, I thought it probably worth nicking a couple of lines that you already like and then we'll flesh them out a bit. Yeah. So could you give me two lines from different songs that you enjoy? Uh, I I like... Uh, oh, I know. I've suddenly forgotten all lyrics <laughs> from all songs. I would say I like... Uh, th- let's go for... <laughs> what's it? Load up on... Load up on guns... <laughs> Bring your friends. The first line on Smells Like Teen Spirit. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good. And uh, let's also go for um, Park Life. Right. A line from Park Life. Just shout Park Life. Park like, like, oh, they right. do, like, like they do in the song. All right. We'll blend them together and flesh it out. Um, I always think there should be an instrumental solo at some point during it. Do you agree? And if so, what would you like? Yes, steel Great. drum, please. Steel drum solo halfway through. Uh, how should the song start and how should it end? It should start um, with everyone playing, just doing one hit on their instrument, one after the other. Mm-hmm. And it should end um, with them like playing uh, like like the, the, the conga. Oh, okay. Uh, catchy chorus. Do you want a catchy chorus? Yes. Could you just give us a hint of that? Would you mind? Very catchy chorus uh, going like... Whoa, 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 oh, 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 oh. How long is the song? It is five minutes long, exactly. Mm. I think we are all hoping it was going to be on the short side. But well, fine. it's quite a slow song, you know. Yeah, OK. Five minutes, exactly. And finally, what's the song called, James? Uh... Dunker my hunker. <laughs> it's a bit like over my shoulder. Yeah, it's, it's a bit like that. And do you know what? It took me the same amount of time to think of it as well as it did with over my shoulder. But now you can look forward to hearing your perfect song. Yes, oh, can't wait. I don't have to do any of the work on that. All right, look, we're going to wrap things up in a second. Quick, quick questions, quick game, go home. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Edinburgh shows. How much yeah. of a part does music play in them? I'd say a very small percentage, but still a little bit. I, I really think about what music's playing when people walk in. That was my next question. And yep. I have ended two Edinburgh shows by playing a musical instrument. Yes. And what about the song when they walk out? Is there a song that as soon as the show ends kicks in? And how early yep. does that song come into your thinking? As soon as I... Oh, uh, it comes into my thinking like right before Edinburgh, last few previews. Really? That's interesting. When I, know, when I know what the show is and then I'm like, ah, it should end on this song. Oh, it's a good feeling, isn't it? Do you, yeah, ever change, really do, you ever, do you ever change that song halfway through the run? Yep. Uh, I, change, I can change it during the run. I sometimes change it during the tour afterwards. Uh, sometimes I change the music beforehand and the music afterwards just because I'm tired of the show and I've got, and I've, but I don't know how to change the show. And so I just want to put myself in a different mindset before the show. Yep. And so I change the playlist. Perfect. Um, we still have Hip to be Square after every horn section gig. We've never changed yes. that. Yeah, no, well, that's nice. I don't know why not. All right. Those are, those are my sensible music questions. Uh, mm-hmm. Quick silly game. I'm going to read yeah. out some Beatles lyrics, but uh, they're all about uh, a man called Jeffrey. Now, you have okay. to work out the song before I get to the chorus. Okay, right. uh, there are three of them. If you get all three, you get a green T-shirt. Jeffrey flew okay. in from Miami Beach. Jeffrey didn't get to bed last night. Oh, on the way, shit. the paper bag was on Jeffrey's knee. Man, Jeffrey had oh. a dreadful flight. This is the bad thing: is that I really don't listen to the Beatles very much, and well, so I have no idea what this is. Jeffrey and, is back um, in the USSR. Jeffrey doesn't oh, know how shit. lucky he is. Jeffrey's yeah, back in the USSR. In the USSR. So no USSR. green T-shirt. Next one. Here comes oh. old flat top Jeffrey. Jeffrey come grooving up slowly. Jeffrey got juju eyeball. Jeffrey is one oh, holy God. roller. Oh, Jeff- oh, uh, Jeffrey got uh, hair down uh, to his uh, knee. Uh, Jeffrey's uh, got to be a joker. Uh, come Jeffrey together. Just do- yes. Come, Fuck. yes, come together right now over Jeffrey. Ellis James is going to destroy me. Last one. Look, if you get this one, you'll have won the game, and I'll send you a. Uh, no. No? No, I no. no. Okay, last one. Here Jeffrey stands, head in hand. Turn Jeffrey's face to the wall. If she's gone, Jeffrey can't go on, feeling Crap. two foot small. Everywhere oh. people stare at Jeffrey. Each and every day, Jeffrey can see them laugh oh, at him. No. And Jeffrey hears them say, oh, no. Hey, Jeffrey's got to hide his love away. Hey, Jude. Hey, Jeffrey's got to hi- hide his love away. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's you've got to hide your love away. I, right. don't, I don't listen to them. No? It's so bad. Mm-hmm. It's, my, it, it's like, I know everyone will be furious at me. Yeah. 
That's the end of the podcast, James. Nice to end on that note. They're all right. They're a good band. They are good. I should get into them more. Do you want to plug anything? Um, Cold Design, You Hate Myself, 1999, was the last show that I did, and I I filmed it, and I've just released it on my website. You can go onto my website, jamesacaster.com, and you can buy it, or you can go on Vimeo on demand, and you can buy it. It's a two-hour-long show. There's also a bonus 40-minute show. You can get all of that for a tenner, and it's the best thing I've ever done. It's just a yes or no question. Do you, do you want to plug anything? I'll cut that bit out. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for doing it. Thank uh, you. Thank you for doing the podcast. Thank you for winning thank the you. quiz. And thank you. Hello, James A. Caster. And we can now tease mm-hmm. the fact that I am going to be on No More Jockeys. Coming soon. Bye, guest James. star. Okay, bye, James. Okay, bye-bye. The bye. guest star of No I'm, More Jockeys, I'm going to stop recording James now. Acaster. I'm going to stop the recording. Here he comes. I've stopped. <laughs> Right, team, we're going to have a little look at language with me, Alex Horn. Please can someone play the sting for that? I could whistle something. Yeah, you whistle and we'll lip sing, please. A little look at language. <laughs> That's nice. That's real pretty. Yeah, really good. OK, first, we're all going to look at the word mental, which gets bandied about a little too much at the moment. I think we all agree. But do you all know what the word mental is short for? Yep. What is it, pianist? It's a mentaliptus. No, it's is it, ornamental. Is it? It's actually no. ornamental. So when, you, when you're saying things like Steve Bruce went mental, what you're really saying is Steve Bruce went all decorative. And when you're saying my gran has an ornamental table, you're saying her table is batshit crazy. Second, <laughs> second word is the word orthodontist. I thought you were going to say it was short for mental women short. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> yeah. That's better. Um, do you mind doing the jingle? Because we're halfway through the section. What's it called again? A little, a little look, at language. look at language. OK, second up this week is the word orthodontist. Does anyone know how old the word orthodontist is? <laughs> One, exactly 100 today. Ooh, close. It's 15 years old. It was invented by dentists in 2006. And it's a stupid word because it means the same as dentist, but it's spelt wrong. And it came about because people kept saying, I've got to see the awful dentist. And dentists didn't like being called the awful dentist. So they changed it to the orthodontist because they're awful dentists. Uh, can we have the sting again, please? <laughs> a little look at language. Great stuff. OK, let's now have a song by a band that everyone definitely likes. Yes, it's the new single from Mumford and Sons. I've lived a life for many years. I've lied to you, my friends, most dear. It's time for you to hear what I have to say. The truth it weighs me down. Please don't think that I am proud. I stand with my head bowed, your forgiveness I beg I have stood by your side, bursting with pride Smiling so wide always Yes, I've done all of your mum. Yeah, very good. Wicked! Well Lovely done, stuff. Mr Mumford. That's it. Can we have some uh, uh, drums to uh, sign off with, please, Ben? Oh, yeah, hang on. Are you lifting them up? I meant yeah, to like it. That's it. Thanks to Joe Walker for doing what no other human can. For Joel Porter for doing a similar thing but not exactly the same thing. To James Acaster for being the best guest ever and to you at home for listening so, so well. Say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.
Talk Life.
Jacob Cunningham Probably Jacob Cunningham With love from Shanty Ann To Jacob Cunningham